In this video, I will show you how I paint peacock step by step and I will share a little of my experience here in Italy. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Again, this is Maria Teresa. Thank you for supporting and watching my channel. Please click like and please subscribe or click the bell button if you want to be notified for my new videos. After molding the body of the peacock and drawing it for at least one to two weeks depending on the weather, make sure it is totally dry. So let's paint now the background and you can choose any designs. I choose the color textures mixed with yellow, red, mm, yellow tan, a little of yellow green, white and black. I use large brush in this wider space background. By the way, the measurement of this canvas is 60 cm by 120 cm. The second is to paint white the molded as first base and to cover all the spaces even the little hole on it before the finished touch. It is okay if you don't do the molded, you can paint your body details right away. Third is to make a lines as a base for the feathers of the peacock. And next is to paint the details of the feathers. Paint it like this at first, then I will follow the other details of the peacock feathers. I started my painting when I arrived here in Italy. It was winter, most of the people stayed in their homes because of the weather and cold. And it was the period that I experienced homesickness so much so I tried to divert my worries and homesickness uh, by painting using watercolor that was I started it Ford is detailing the feather of the peacock as you can see, I'm using the flat medium brush here and I add a little linseed oil because it easily get dry. Though the oil paint have more pigment, when I'm painting in summer, it's best is to soften the paint by adding linseed oil. Beginning artist is the stage where so much struggle from emotional aspect, mental and financial aspect. As I remember, I experienced to bring my paintings to an interested client and in the end I returned home with my complete paintings. I was very disappointed and felt pity because I felt rejected. That is the truth and reality that can be, that can might be happened and it can might be experienced in selling arts. In this case, I learned to accept that in reality it is not easy to sell and I have to meet the expectation of my potential clients. 
because of these experiences i think of solutions and ways on how i will improve as an artist Next is the legs and feet of the peacock. Here I'm using a small brush. I use a white, yellow, brown, and black color. Next is the details of the upper body parts of the peacock and finishing the shadow. Totally, the white peacock is purely white but for shadowing, I mix a little amount of black color. When I wrote the quote, pleasant or unpleasant painting is considered an art. As an artist, we are very sensitive and vulnerable in criticism than the other professionals. Why is that? Because through our work, we express our feelings and uh, we reveal our inner self. We tend to get easily disappointed when we feel rejected and we are thinking negative, thinking to quit our plans and dreams. I experience all of these feelings and being vulnerable in criticism. Your artwork will be exposed and judged. We can't avoid this. I instead we have to develop as what they are saying thick skin uh, in Tagalog walang pakisa sasabihin ng iba or um, manhid well I'm not sure if it is the exact word in Tagalog um, negative from negative criticism or feedback of your arts be able to appreciate it by thinking it's the way you make your art to improve and think of new ideas and unique of unique designs don't take things too personally when somebody doesn't like your art it doesn't mean you're a complete failure As you can see, it takes more time for me in painting the feathers details of the peacock.
Now we are in number 7, Final Touch Detailing. Okay, the last one is number 8, signing your arts and putting the date. Once you officially done and ready to go public, don't forget to sign your art. No matter where you put it or what it looks like, your art is not complete without signing it. Your signature is very important to recognize and identify your art. And make sure your signature is clear and readable. Okay guys, thank you for watching and supporting me. I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial video how I paint the top and my experience as an artist here in Italy. Please don't forget to share and to subscribe and click the bell button to be notified for my coming up videos. Thank you guys, bye. See you in my next video. Bye. Go figure. She just walked away. That's why you ate that on.